Today we are visiting the Grand Bazaar of Istanbul, the oldest and largest covered market in the world. So right behind us is the entrance to the Grand Bazaar of Istanbul. Today is our first day in Turkey. We literally cannot think of a better way to start our journey here than by a visit to this legendary place. Spanning 61 covered streets and a total of over 4,000 shops, this bazaar is said to be the largest and oldest in the world, dating back to the 15th century. It is truly the heart of Istanbul's old city center. One thing you notice here immediately though is that people are not really very pushy. Like, they'll ask you where you're from. Hello. Hola, hi, nice to meet you too. Hi, how are you? Belgium. Belgium. You look like you're Spanish. <laughs> Maybe you don't buy something for your family, for mother-in-law. And maybe you want to... Tea set. Maybe, maybe. Make Ottoman design. Unbreakable. Make um. video. <laughs> how much is it for? Uh, for nice people, uh, 280 lira. Can you do 100? Impossible! Impossible! <laughs> Do your best. Okay, maybe 110. No, no, I mean really past this number. Okay, 120 then. I make for you 250, do something. Maybe one, 140? <laughs> Excuse me, it's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> give me your hands. If you give me a good, really good price. I... Uh, look, between us, 200. We make it really good. 200 is okay. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you so much. much. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you. Probably could have gone quite a bit lower, but I wasn't really feeling like bargaining down to the last it's cents. I mean, these and people have been suffering a lot for months. For COVID, yeah. They, and, just, uh, they were just closed for over a month. Before COVID, the Grand Bazaar was visited by close to 100 million visitors every year. That means around 250,000 people a day, making it the world's most visited tourist attraction. I call this funny tea because funny when, tea? yeah, because when you drink, I laugh. <laughs> it's really funny for me. I'm a bit nervous. Smell it first. <laughs> yeah, this is like a Vix. Uh... Yeah, eucalyptus with kiwi flavor. <laughs> I can't even drink it like when I inhale it. It's like <laughs> this one I call it love tea. If you drink this, all the street gonna love you for 10 minutes. Oh wow. I try it every day yeah. and I'm still fing single, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> that tea was actually really good, so we're getting a little bit to take home. 50 is okay. 50? Oh, 50. Thank you so much. Oh thank you. The vendors in the Grand Bazaar are super friendly and entertaining. And if you spend an afternoon here, you're pretty much guaranteed to have a good time. Sven? But you were gonna say drink. Oh, oh, my god, <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <gasps> no, you can't forget me, I am. I'll never forget you, no, I'll never forget you. As this is the most visited tourist attraction in the world, prices are higher than elsewhere in the city, so often you will have to bargain quite a bit. How much do you think it will be? Three, four, five lira, I think. 160 lira, this one. 160? This is hand work. 100 for two? You break my heart. Oh. 180, but really about my cost price. Sorry, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Thank you. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, last question. Thank you. Excuse me. 150, fix price. For thank you. you. No, Please. No, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. I hate bargaining, but I did it. <laughs> and in case you think oh my God. I bargained too hard, handmade. Yes. Can I ask you something? Yes. Is this the price? Yes. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Wow. This is incredible. Look at the colors here. That is crazy. I would like to show you upstairs oh, as well. Yeah, sure. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want, I have a little bit smaller as well. You know, I have actually uh, like spiral. We will, we will think about it. We just, we just arrived today, so we will uh, think about it. You are my first client today. Uh, oh. I, I would like to make <laughs> small business. Oh. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. We came this close to buying a lamp that we cannot transport in the van. We don't need a lamp. We're we like, don't oh, need yeah, a lamp, but really he was nice. super <laughs> nice and he showed us the lamps. Um, and if you want a lamp, he really has the most beautiful shop we've seen so far. Oh, it looks good. It 
So this is Turkish coffee? Yes, this is Turkish coffee, uh, coffee but uh, it's really special. Special? Yeah. Normally another Turkish coffee may be hard, but it's not hard. Ah, okay. It's soft and delicious. This looks like a cup of hot cocoa or something. So this looks so froggy on top. Hot. Oh, oh that's very soft. It's good. Look how frothy it looks. This is hands down one of my favorite coffees that I have ever had. Turkish coffee is actually finely ground coffee that is prepared by boiling it. Typically we in the Western countries we have pour over um, or espresso but this they boil the coffee in the water and then ju they just put it in a cup and the coffee grounds actually stay in the cup as well. You can tell that they leave the coffee in there because as you get to the last bit of the cup <laughs> I'm not gonna drink this bit. So one more sip. That was a sip that was too much. <laughs> In this bazaar, whatever you need just seems to magically appear. And that goes for much more than just coffee and souvenirs. <laughs> At least this guy asked me how I wanted it. It's not always the case when <laughs> you go to a dresser bra. Oh god. Ooh, it's hot. Never had anything waxed. Ah. Wah. Ah. <laughs> baby. Oh, oh, baby. Like a baby. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I've like never had baby. so smooth ears. <laughs> I feel so naked now. Oh god. You thought the wax was hot. <laughs> this still good this still. Yeah, it smells burnt. Good? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the final straw. Now he's never gonna wear my haircut again. Oh man, that was a great experience. Haircut, shave, I mean he kept doing stuff and <laughs> Putting lotions and hair gel and full massage, head massage, everything. And all that right here in the bazaar. I mean, you could that's spend crazy. A lifetime here. It's like a city. It's like, oh, it's <laughs> a, like mini a city. city. A city. Yeah, it is. It's now the next day. We're heading out for another little shopping spree here. But we're heading to the spice market now, which is a more local market. It's supposed to have lower prices as well, but we're gonna check it out and find out for ourselves. <laughs> Overall, you will just find a lot more locals here and a lot less tourists. You can tell the shops are also a little bit more geared towards the locals because the prices are much lower and some of the things you find here, you won't easily find in the Gramazon. Whoa, this place is insane. Check this out. Look at the architecture here. Every single shop on this street is all about the spices, the tea. It's incredible. The competition here must be insane. outside uh, similar one mm -hmm. smell. In this one there is 25 different spice. Uh, honey and caramel. Oven, honey and caramel. Yes. Okay. No sugar, no calories. No calories. No calories. <laughs> calorie free. Fantastic. My, my, my. Taking a small break here because these bazaars are just like sensory overload. There's so much going on and especially when we want to film all of it, capture it, connect all the shots together in the best way. We've really been putting a lot of time here on getting the shots that we think will look best with our camera and working on our transitions especially. And this is also the reason we want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. They have an online learning community that features literally 
thousands of classes. We of course are mainly focused on the videography and photography ones, but they have topics on literally anything creative you could try to learn about. I actually just took a class on filming scene transitions by Maddie Brown, which is what I'm trying to put to good use here at the market. In that class, he teaches everything about how to connect different shots together seamlessly in like a B-roll sequence in your videos. And one thing I've learned from it and that I've really been applying today, but it's also a little bit tiring, is that it's good to have multiple takes of the same shot from different angles at different speeds so you can match them together. That also means that I'm going awkward penguin on some of the vendors here. As I literally film what they do from every possible angle several times. Now some of these learning platforms can be quite expensive but with Skillshare that is one of the main reasons why we love them actually. If you take an annual subscription to their premium membership you only pay less than 10 US dollars a month to get access to all of their classes. So if you're interested in learning a new creative skill we highly recommend checking them out. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description box below get a free trial to Skillshare's premium membership. Now back to the market. Hello! Hello! How are you? Hello! 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 Thank you! <laughs> oh! We had to stop here to get a dude. This is a beef dude. It's always a good sound when there are this many Turkish people sitting in the <laughs> Thank you. When there are this many locals sitting at a spot. So this is a beef dude. Dude is like, it's like a sort of wrap and it has the beef on the inside here. Mm. Oh my god. Really good. It's really good. I love how people I'll here are like the opposite of camera shy. There's camera shy, then there's indifferent to the camera, and then there's like, hey, I'm here, film me, I'll show you something. <laughs> and that's what people are like here. And that is just amazing. I just ordered a plate of uh, dinner meat. Yes, video, video, video. Super succulent. Nice and grilled. In the next video, we're going to show you all the best foods that Turkey has to offer. If you're interested in taking some Skillshare classes, please click the link below. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.